This video is a little different. Today I'm going to talk about why I hate Karnaugh maps. Let's jump in and first just to start things off, brief review for those of you who have learned about what a Karnaugh map is or are learning about what a Karnaugh map is. It's a method of simplifying Boolean expressions. A lot of Boolean expressions, true false statements inside of FPGAs. So it seems like a good thing to learn. You'd want to get, you know, if you're doing a lot of that, you probably want to know how to simplify it, right? That's important. Sounds reasonable. Um, you, know, it's, you have a truth table and that can create a Boolean expression. And how do you make a simple Boolean expression with the least amount of resources possible? Like that is a good thing. Like learning how to, for your FPGA tools to, to simplify and minimize resources, that's important. You have a finite amount of resources on an FPGA design or in a microcontroller design or whatever it is. And so like simplifying Boolean expressions down to the least number of instructions or the least number of resources, you know, lookup tables are the actual um, you know, gates that get implemented inside of your FPGA, get implemented inside of lookup tables and minimizing that stuff is like important. So I'm not gonna argue with that but I don't think that they're fun and that's a big problem. Uh, and I'm not gonna, this video is not here to teach you what a Karnaugh map is, but if you're watching this video, it's probably because you've heard of them or been punished by having to learn what they are. So like maybe, so real quick, so yeah, purpose, you know, you have an original circuit, it's got some not, not gates and AND gates and OR gates and boom, that's the same thing as this crazy looking circuit here. And like, that's, that's nice. Um, so you don't need to have all these you can only have all these extra gates here. You can just have one and that's a you know, resource minimization thing. And that's good. I'm not gonna argue with that, but these are not fun things to learn. And so like maybe you've had these Karnaugh maps that look like this and you gotta draw the, the gray code tables on X and Y axes and then fill in your truth table and circle things and write down stuff. This is painful. If this is bringing back memories of haunting memories, then yeah, you understand wh wh where I'm coming from here. This one goes from the top and then also on the bottom, whatever. Um, maybe it looks like this. You have these boxes and you circle things and that means stuff. And then you have these crazy looking things, this freaking toroid that tells you some information maybe, I'm not sure. But this is this is not great. It's just where fun goes to die. Um, Karnaugh maps are just not fun. And you know what? I've been an engineer for over 10 years now. I've never once used them, but it was the very first thing I learned. My very first intro to EE class, like here's, you know, welcome to engineering. Your future's gonna be so bright. Like first thing we're gonna teach you is Boolean algebra and Karnaugh maps. And I was like, wow, if this is the first thing you're teaching me right out of the gates, this is gonna be like multiplication tables. Like I'm gonna be using this shit every day. Uh, guess what? I never used it once and you never will either. The only people who are gonna use this are people who are writing synthesis tools at Xilinx. And there's probably like 10 of them. Like there's not a lot of people in this world that are writing, using Karnaugh maps anymore. And nobody's doing this by hand anyway. So like, what the hell? Why are professors teaching this? It's boring and it's tedious as hell. And so like, if you're a professor in an intro class and you're trying to inspire people, make them excited about engineering, Karnaugh maps would be the literal last thing I would teach them. Not only is it not useful, which a lot of engineering teaches you things that are not useful in the real world, but it's boring, super boring. So like, do something interesting. Do a friggin' hexapod FPGA robot. Like, that would be way more fun. You get into an intro class and you're just like, all right, students, welcome to engineering. We've got a hexapod robot. You're gonna program this shit and you're gonna make it walk around. That'd be so cool. That'd be way more fun. So like, professors, if you're watching this, take a note, stop teaching Karnaugh maps and start teaching hexapod robots or just anything. I don't know, how to light up an LED would be, a hundred times more interesting than Karnaugh maps. I've had, I know peers of mine, friends who were smart people who just like left engineering because they thought it was all boring Karnaugh maps the whole time, which uh, it's frustrating. Engineering is a lot of fun. Stick with it. If you're in a Karnaugh, if you're in a class right now, like a EE intro class of Boolean algebra and stuff, and your professor's jamming Karnaugh maps down your throat, just have some grit, stick to uh, It'll be over soon, I hope. Good luck.